Welcome to the Quick Starters Guide for the Data Spinnaker Research Waiting Tool. Spinnaker Research developed a web-based waiting tool enabling any researcher to calculate data weights for their sample. There is no need to write syntax or have programming skills. Let's get started with a demonstration. First, open your web browser and visit www.spinnakerresearch.nl and click on the Get a Free Account button to create an account. Once you've activated your account, you can access the tool by clicking on the Login button. Starting at the Dashboard page, navigate to the Tools tab in the menu bar at the top of your screen. Select the Waiting option followed by New Wait. We now need to upload a data set containing the respondent IDs and background variables. We've prepared an Excel data set for this demo, consisting of 20 respondents with information about their region, gender, and education. To upload the file, make sure your data file is saved as a comma delimited CSV file. Notice that the variable names need to be placed on the first line followed by the respondent data on every new line. You can drag and drop your data file from any folder right into the upload screen, or you can click in the application to browse through your folder list to select your file. Click on Next at the bottom right to proceed to step two. Here we can enter a name or description for our project. You may want to select a group variable to split your data into multiple data sets. We'll just leave this blank in our example and go straight to selecting our waiting variables. So let's select region, gender, and education and proceed to step three. In this section, the tool automatically displays the current unweighted distributions for each variable. You can change the labels and enter your desired target distributions per category. You can change these fields manually or upload a target file. We have prepared a target file for this demo. This file needs to be saved as comma delimited CSV file as well. In this file, we've specified the desired distributions per variable. The targets per variable will have to add up to exactly 100% per variable. So let's upload the file. Notice that the value labels and targets are now filled in. OK, so we can proceed to the final step. Click on Next. In this final step, you can set preferences like limiting the number of iterations, setting maximum and minimum allowed weight factors, or even projecting the weight factors to a set population size. In this example, we'll only set a maximum for the weight factors. Let's say we don't want any weight factors higher than 3. We are now ready to let the application weight our data set by clicking Start at the bottom right. The tool directs us to the My Weights section where we can see our project. Behind our project, we can choose to edit our project, add data, or view the project report. The report gives a complete overview of the weighting settings and statistics. You can use this to evaluate your weight project. The weighted data can be exported or deleted. Let's export the data for this project. Notice the tool returns our original data set, which now also contains an extra column with a weight factor per respondent. You can always find and manage all your weight projects in the My Weights section. Navigate to Tools, Weighting, and select My Weights. Spinnaker Research offers four different subscriptions. You can get a free account, a starter, a professional, or a business account. Each account offers different features. For example, weighting data is free in any account. However, exporting the weight factors is limited. In the free account, there is no option for exporting data. The starter account allows for two exports. The professional, 30, and the business account lets you download up to 260 data sets. The free and starter accounts allow for one authorized user. In the professional and business accounts, you can add three and 10 additional users for the same account. The storage capacity for the free and starter accounts are two megabytes, while the professional account offers a storage of 30 megabytes and the business account offers 250 megabytes. Weighting multiple subsets in one go by splitting a data file is only possible with a professional or business account. Okay, we hope this demonstration was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to give us a call or send us a message.